All right, guys, it's time for some fun. Subterfuge box break number 2302. Rookie. Oh, what am I saying? It's uh, OPG <laughs> with Fall of the Queen bonus. Yeah, but first we're going to do roll call. Tonight, live in chat, was Brian, Daniel, Savard, and Rick. Only Keith and Aaron were the other ones who are not in the break, who weren't in channel. So there we go. Between these four lovely people, we're going to randomize this one prize card I have tonight. Pretty sweet, too, though. Gold Inc. Dual Jersey Autograph out of 99 of Alexander Barkov from Ice, or from Black, I should say. So two red swatches, the acetate window, and hard to see, but he does have an autograph on there. So somebody's going to get this nice little card for their little attendance. Yeah, it's a nice little bonus, eh, for showing up live. So here we go, Brian, Daniel, Savard, and Rick. Uh, I'm going to do it three times. You guys, that's in order of that you're on the sheet. So here we go. One. We got Brian on top. Two. We got Brian on top. And three. Rick. Rick is lucky in randoms. There you go, Rick. Nice bark off autograph for you. All you had to do was show up. Let me write that down. Yeah, I know. It's never a good sign when you get... Uh, on top twice, I'd be going like, oh, great. So Rick got the bark off. All right. You're welcome, buddy. Get this off here. I like that so much better than trivia. I don't have to think of questions or do any of that other crap. So here's the sheet for tonight. Get my stuff back in order. All right. Just Brian, Aaron, Daniel, Keith, Savard, Rick in this break. And Daniel. Savard has got the ninja, so he gets uh, three extra darts. And I got an extra box for Aaron to open up on this one, because she'll be watching the break. And Rick got the sweet little bark off there, so... Let's put this uh, out of my way. And I'm going to pull out Yogi's uh, 12 darts first. But first, Yogi! When we... Uh, when I remember, and somebody gets a ninja, I like to give away a fridge magnet to go along with it. And you're getting this uh, pretty sweet Carey Price. So I know you're a half fan. Pretty sweet Carey Price little uh, Premier Patch Auto. Oh yeah. Magnet. And 12 darts for you. That's a custom magnet too. Nobody else has that one. Alright. Single 14. Single 5. Single 12. You're here, it's like your third day or something. You already got magnets and stuff going, you got darts going. What do you see the other guys? They got cool bonuses too, eh? Uh, single 19, triple. Triples are what you want. You got a triple 10 right there. Oh, nice, Bri. Good. And a double seven. That's, that's saying something too in an upper deck product, eh? I have some of that SB game used on hand, 14, 15. Triple nine, we're halfway there. Double two, we'll see if we can get pull you some other prizes, would be nice. Double three. Uh, single 14. Oh, there. I don't know if you have any boom sauce letters yet, but spell out boom sauce. You got any pick a card that's eligible on the prize page. So you got a U. Another triple ten. And last card is. Oh, you just won a jersey card. That'll work. And a double 14. All right, I'll pick you up a jersey card here in a sec. It says random jersey card, but when I know people's teams, I usually like to grab them their team if I have anything available. So, Thomas Placanic, winner, boys of winter jersey card for you. Oh, it's actually two color, just barely. That goes to you as well. All right. Now, before we get into the break, I'm going to do uh, Aaron's box. Aaron had auto cash out because he doesn't pay much attention to darts sometimes. So I just cash out a box of 12th or draft prospects when she has enough to pay for it. So here you go, Aaron. This box is for you. Then we're going to open up the OPG. And then we're going to have our hand of Follow the Queen, which we can get into one hand tonight, which is pretty good. Be a lot of queens flying around. 
Oh nice, Steve Eisenman out of 50 to start her off. Good start. I just bought an Eisenman jersey card for a 101 jersey card to give away. It'll show up sometime. Alright. Eisenman Emerald out of 50. Thomas Holmstrom draft surprises. I can stand in front of the net. All my goals went off my butt. Matt Mistel, silver base. Uh, Sam Bennett, silver. Mark Recchi draft surprises. Not a great pitcher. It's like, huh? Me? Faster than me. Oh, oh Jonathan Drew and base. Another emerald, Lauren uh, Dauphin. Lauren Dauphin. Base emerald. A nice Patrick Waugh die cut, 1984 jersey card. Patrick Waugh. Dual jersey. Spencer Martin on the left, Bobby Lou on the right. Spencer Martin's got that prospect game jersey card that I've seen around before. The black stripe in it and Bobby Lou Vancouver Canucks jersey. Oh, is it? Cool. Nice, nice show. Autograph. Oh. Brian would like this one. Bo Horvat. Autograph. Nick Sorensen. I thought it was McDavid for a minute. McDavid card looks very similar. An autograph, William Carrier. Autographs, all three were autographed silvers. And that's Aaron's box of DP. There you go, Aaron. All right, moving along. I don't have a table room here. All right, let's get uh, these out of the way too. All right, so we're gonna get into our OPT. This is my first box I've opened. So I basically haven't really seen too much of the set. There's a serial number. And here we go. Ah, not too shabby, huh? Has it got the seal on there? Looks like it does. Alright. Alright. Savard probably cringed a bit when I cut Carrie Price's uh, shoulder open there, but. 32 packs of fun. OPG, hopefully get some rainbow blacks, a juicy card, some patches or something. 32 packs of fun. Yeah, it's one of those hot boxes. It's crazy. Right. Braden Coburn. Look at this. First box. First pack. Boom. Wayne Gretzky, all star game. Hello. Logo patch, All-Star Game, 39th NHL All-Star Game in St. Louis, Missouri. So, technically, I'm not sure what team he would be associated with on there, but that's pretty cool. Um, normally, it would go most games played, but let's see what team he was on in St. Louis, Missouri. If somebody want to look it up for me, um, it doesn't say what year... But what, it makes more sense for it to go to that year. Oh, wait. Yes, right. He does have an Euler sticker on his helmet. My bad. Good job, Oilers. Daniel. Good idea. Marquee rookie, Mark McNeil for Savard. And I believe these are base, right? Yeah, good eye, Yoke. So it would have been uh, going to the Oilers regardless with a look up, eh? Oh, yeah, so these are retros. Uh, so Braden Coburn retro, retro for Aaron. I just never got to see the... Uh, uh, David Savard for Brian. Here we got a B-Series Panarin for Savard. No, it said 39th. I don't know what, uh, I don't know what year it was. I don't know why I'm looking on the back. Oh yeah, blank backs. That's why I'm looking on the back. I do use blank backs. Nope. 
picture had an Oiler logo, so it's pretty cool. Canadians, Team Checklist going to Savard. And Patrick Kane, League Leader, is going to Savard. One in 4,000 packs. Nice job, Daniel. That's probably an expensive card, too. Connor McDavid. It's only a base, but if you want it, Daniel, I'll give it to you. Nick Bugstad for Rick. A retro. I kind of like the retros in this year. Andre Nestrasil. Rainbow for Keith. That's pretty cool. That's a lot of packs. I think there are 32. It's over a case hit. Zach Hyman. For the Leafs and Keith. Poor name. Uh, that's just, oh, it is extended over season highlights. I guess it's over 600, so we'll give it here. Probably the base that goes to 600. That's the second rarest patch. Nice. And the first pack is like boom. Merrick Zidlicky, come on to Rick. We got a playing card. Oh, they actually laminated them nicely too. That's pretty cool. For the Yotes, it's kind of thin. I wouldn't want to play with it, but uh, Aaron, you got uh, OEL, Eight of Spades. Nice. Oh, Wes, thank you very much. Your link has failed. Your link failed again. You got You can take out everything between the item and just leave that number. So all that stuff in the middle, all that stuff after the question mark, done. And it'll work. Seth Jones Retro. The Jackets and Brian. I don't know. Kane's Checklist, whatever. I think this is baseball. Whatever. Don't care. Ham Hughes for Rick. Ben Bishop, Rainbow for Aaron. I don't know. He's he's linking to it. So it must be on eBay. Rainbow Black coming up. P.K. Subban for Savard. There you go, Brian. Alexander Wenberg out of 100. Numbered 5 of 100. Rainbow Black for you. Yeah, it's new release prices, right? But you got to figure that's probably at least a $50 card. Well, actually, maybe more because it's rare and it's Gretzky. But for the Kings, Jonas Enroth for Daniel. Marquee Rookie, Kapanen for Keith. Jonathan Bernier, boo. Are they doing rapper redemptions again this year? I never even looked. Anti Ranta for Aaron. Michael Backlund Rainbow for Daniel. Imagine collecting the rainbow set for this thing. That would be insane. Are they? Yeah, I'll have to pick the wrappers up. I don't go to my local LCS, so I'll put them on eBay or something. Brian Campbell, or give them to somebody. Brian Campbell, Rainbow for Rick. Jamie McGinn for Brian, Retro. The playing card set, yeah. I was actually, somebody who's doing a pre-sale of the playing card set of OPG for like a thousand dollars on eBay. It's like, really buddy? Get a life. Daniel, Justin Williams, team checklist for Anaheim and Brian.
having a patch in the first pack was like pretty anticlimactic there, but uh, what can you do? Carl Alsner Retro, Daniel. League Leaders Obi for Daniel. Totally a Another capital for Daniel. Yeah, look at Six of Hearts, Shea Weber for Rick and the National Predators. I like those. That's a, probably a neat idea on those playing cards, but I wish they would have made them like actually playable because they were like super thin. Patrick Kane for Sabard. Hudson Fashing for Aaron. Yeah, what do the glow ones look like? I'll just do my, like, my Gandalf spell and make the room go black when, if we pull one. That'll work instead of turning off the lights. Jake Bertanen for Rick. Oh, nice Sidney Crosby for Savard, B-Series. Got yeah, two ninety nine. That's the one uh, Wes was talking about. Silly prices they put stuff at, man. There's no way anybody would pay that much for that. Then again, never mind. Keith, Matt Hunwick, and Frederick Goche. Two Leafs in one pack. How can you go wrong? All right. Pack side number two. It's like seventeen minutes in. This is gonna be like the longest break ever. Well, if you had to let go of that, Wes, I'm sure you got something awesome for it. Rick, Adam Lowry, Rainbow, Timo Polkanen for Brian. Don't be poking in yourself in the eye when you get it. Wow. That's a ridiculously good deal. You get all the good deals, man. I'm telling you. Leitera. And Brandon Sutter, two retros, one pack. One of these has got to be a blank back, in my in my opinion. <laughs> Blues and Rick, Laterra, Rick, there it is. Nice. Brandon Sutter, blank back. Now, the norm, back in the day, these were like considered to be less ten or less in the print run. Nowadays, I have no idea. Lindgren for Savard, marquee rookie. That was a good pack. And now I don't have to look for blank packs anymore. Even though I'm still gonna. Derek Stepan, retro for Aaron. Eric Johnson for Rick, rainbow. Now this, did, they, did they have more rainbows in this one or what? Wow, 31,000 packs. Mark McNeil, retro rookie. A Rangers checklist. That Aaron won't want, so I'll put it in the base pile because it's just base anyway. Nah, I have like probably 40 or 50 box bottoms for Mopi Cheese just sitting in a pile over there. Patches for Savard. Patrick Kane for Savard. Matt Niskanen for Daniel. And we got a Sean Monahan playing card for Daniel as well. Noah Hannafin. Not a rookie anymore, but a retro for Keith. Uh, team checklist for Daniel.
Johnny Taze. Oh, look, we got an autograph too, guys. I don't know how many. I think autographs are what one, three per case. So. We got a Wayne Patch and an autograph. But first, Johnny Taze for Savard. And there we go. Not too bad. Going to Rick. Mark Shifley. Team Canada signatures. Nice. Good on you, Rick. Nice. I like that. Oh, and a marquee rookie Justin Bailey for Aaron. This would be pretty cool on EPAC, actually. So many different stuff to collect. Uh, Rick, Yannick Hansen, and Daniel, Gostaspair, playing card. All right, getting down in the nitty gritty here, guys. Pretty good box with the, that really rare Gretz and then autograph. One in 2,000 packs for that auto, too, so very good box. Pesky, retro. Ovechkin well, League Leaders number two. I think it's the same card you already got. And Oops. You gotta figure OPG, there's so many packs though, so the pack odds are a little skewed just because 32 packs per box, say. Eh? Nifty Mittens, retro for Keith. Oh, a marquee rookie rainbow. Pretty sweet. For Daniel, it's Garrett Hathaway. Garrett Hathaway, Rainbow Rookie. Yeah, I like it when they make it re redeemable and you get you can't trade the card, but uh, it makes more sense. Eh? Tori Mitchell for Savard. We got another Rainbow Black coming up here, guys, for the Lightning. And Aaron, uh, Victor Hedman out of 100. Really, uh, two rainbow backs in a box and a patch and an autograph. Wow. Pretty solid OPT wise. Twice. Yeah, I like, I like Tori Winchell too. He's one of those solid grinding type players that everybody needs. A retro checklist for the Carolina Hurricanes and Keith. Adam Quine for Rick. Oh yeah, cool. That card looks weird. Hey, Brooks like retro for the Leafs, and last card is a foil of Carter Hutton for Rick. And that is it for the box of OPG guys. But well, look at that. That's a whole bunch of hits to be shipping to you guys. Hope you like it. Uh, yeah, I put it in the pile in case I figured you wanted it, buddy. So I did put it in the pile for you. I'm just that way. What can I say? I have ESP. Don't you agree? Why am I rhyming right now? I don't know. Anyways, we're going to get ready for uh, poker, guys. So if you haven't seen how this works before, maybe Yogi hasn't. Yeah, it was a very nice box. So what we're going to do is we're going to play Fall of the Queen. Now, it's basically seven card stud, two cards down, four up, and then the last card down. Queens down are wild. And any time a queen shows up face up, the next card drawn is wild. And if it another queen comes, the card after that will be wild, and it changes it. So there can only be one wild card. So it could be wild sevens for a while, and then another queen comes along. And changes it, then that's what happens. I'm gonna shuffle up these name plates and we're gonna get all seven people in one hand too. And I'm gonna show you guys the prizes. We've got two prizes tonight. Because you guys are awesome. And it looks like anthology is down to one. And if you're trying to pay on the site, it's not marking them paid, so just be patient and I'll get to your payments when I can. Be doing them manually all night. All right, so here we go. H hand number one is going to be Rick. And Aaron's guaranteed hand that she bought. Oh, followed by Aaron. Followed by Daniel. 
and then Keith, and then Savard, and then Brian. A little more room here. My little cut spacers of awesomeness right there. Oh, is you? Should have known. Yeah, I think I got a payment from you once before, eh, DJ? Or <laughs> Daniel? <laughs> Alright, so tonight's prizes, guys. Nobody's surprised on this first one because I was announcing what I was going to do. It's a second box of OPG, but the thing is, it's going to ship just like this to your home because I don't want to open up 32 more packs, is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to get a box of OPG sent to you. And you can enjoy opening it up, keeping all the cards yourself. So top prize, top hand is going to get that. And second place is another box, but this one is 10, 11, uh, or 11, 12 Heroes and Prospects. I will be opening up these and you get all the hits out of this one. Um, in the game. I love you. There we go. Alright, that's it for prizes, guys. So two prizes, pretty sweet. And all I got to do now is a little shuffle. See if I can get all these, all your dudes on camera. Oh, looks reasonable. There. Let's attach the camera to my belly. All right. So two cards down. Oops. I don't have the fancy. Uh, obviously, don't have the fancy shuffling skills. Like Todd did when he did his poker bonus, but uh, we're gonna cut it once and then we're gonna go. All right, Rick and Aaron and Aaron and Daniel and Keith. Oh, I guess I should do them a little straighter there. All that much room. We got Savard and we got Brian. We'll do it all again. And first card, Rick's a five. Six for Aaron. Aaron a deuce. Jack for Daniel. Six for Keith. Ace for Savard. And a three. No queens up yet. <laughs> I was waiting for a comment like that, actually, Matt. Belly cam. 5-2 for Rick. There's a queen. Aaron's going to get a wild card coming up. Oh, no, she isn't. It's another queen. So Daniel's going to get a wild card and a pair of jacks. With the wild threes. And Brian has a three up as well right now. Doesn't mean anything. It'll probably change. Brian, Danny's got a pair of jacks. And Keith has got a pair of sixes with his wild three. Uh, Savard's got ace four diamonds. So there's that straight plus you were looking at. And a nine. All right. Deuce. Pair of deuces for Rick. Nothing much there. Queen Jack, Queen Jack for Aaron's got Queen Jack, Queen Jack in both her hands. And we still have threes wild. There's a king up, so Daniel's got a pair of kings. Uh, Keith is straightening, five, six, and a wild card. Savard's got a king. And we got a pair of nines from Brian over there on the end. Pair of Brian's. Pair of Brian's, yep, pair of Brian's. And you know what? Brian has the wild three, so Brian's sitting there with three nines. Just saying. All right. Next card up. Two pair for Rick. Fives and twos. Is there another queen going to come up and spoil it? Got a seven for Aaron. Not so great. Got a jack queen king for Aaron. Got an eight. Oh, and it is. So this queen's going to come up and give Savard a wild. Jacks are now wild, unless Brian gets the last queen right here. So jacks are wild, and we have four jacks on the board. This is going to be crazy. Does he get it? No. So Brian's stuck with just a pair of nines now. Now we all get our down cards. So we had three queens come up, and jacks are wild. So it's going to be very interesting. This is a crazy game at times, I tell you. Yeah, Brian foiled right at the end, eh? All right. So Rick sitting there with two pair. Fives and deuces. Does he have that last queen in his hand? That would give him a full house. Or a wild jack. He couldn't possibly have a wild jack because all the jacks are out. So let's see, Rick. Pair of twos, pair of fives, a four. 
a 10, and a 7. Boo! No luck for Rick in that one. So that basically gives Rick fives and twos. Erin's guaranteed hand. This was the hand that she bought for the extra money. And she's sitting there with a pair of queens. With her jacks. Now she's got six, seven, eight, nine with her wild jack. She's got four diamonds with her wild jack. And she's got an ace, which gives her absolutely nothing. Well, so the best she can do is a pair of aces. It's pretty weak for having a wild card. There's no flush, no flush, and no straight. So, a pair of aces. Aaron, that doesn't even beat Rick's hands. All right, Aaron's second hand. And she's got the wild jack on board with a queen and a king and a two. And look at that. There's the last queen everybody was waiting for. So that gives her three kings. Actually, it gives her a flush. Flush of hearts right there. And a flush of hearts, ace high. And a, she's got a royal flush. Wow, she had ten jack, king, ace of hearts without a wild card. And she gets two wild cards with it. Royal flush, hello. That'll be hard to beat. Although there is five of kind possible, not so much with less wild card. Daniel, you're up. Kind of busy right now. Uh, Daniel, you have the wild jack. You have three kings right now. Uh, no, it would be it would be a tie. So three kings for Daniel. A nine doesn't do anything for you, and a ten. So with your wild jack, 9, 10, jack, king, 8, 9, 10, jack, oh, you can't even do it that way, queen, so you don't get a, you can't get a straight, and... The best you can do is the three kings. Which doesn't beat three aces and put you out, buddy. Alright, Keith is up. Keith is sitting there with nothing wild and a queen, five, six, three. Now he's got a three, four, five, six. Now he's got a pair of fives. Now he's got two pairs of fives and sixes, which beats Rick's fives and twos, but that's out of the money anyway. And there's no wild. And that's it for Keith. Yeah, Brian, I wouldn't be too optimistic with all the wild cards gone and the, and the queen in the hole gone, but you never know. All right, Savard sitting there pretty with a pair of aces so far. And now you got not much. Oh, that gives you four spades. Oh, and the wrong one. So with your wild card, the best you can get is three sevens. And that's going to pull Yogi out of it, too. Wild Jack. Yeah, seven, eight, no, no straight. Three sevens, Yogs. Sorry, bud. And Brian, last chance. You're sitting there with two nines and a two and a three, but you do have three clubs on board. The ten. Ten four, good buddy. And wow, that's a pretty ugly hand, actually, Brian. Here, take a screenshot. Ugly. That doesn't do it for you, buddy. So there we go. We got the winners. Royal Flush. Aaron. Woohoo! You're going to get the box of OPG. And who came in second? Was it Aaron? So three sevens, five and six, three kings, three aces. Aaron sweep. Yeah, nice job.
Good job on Aaron. So, guaranteed double Aaron does it. Everybody needs a table to flip. So now, you know what I'm going to do right now because I've got to ship you that OPG already. I'm just going to ship you the in the game with it because why not? And I don't have to break them. No more packs for this video. So thanks a lot, guys, for your support. And we will see you on the next one. Yeah, two hobby boxes. Pretty sweet win. All right, guys. Have a good one.